Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 8 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at union inside of selection. So we've been using normal selection tool right now. So in this selection what happens is that if I were to drag, uh, drag a shape and then drag a shape again then what actually happens is that it deletes the other shape and then creates a new one. Let me just create a new uh, layer for this. So if you want to create multiple shapes and or interesting shapes, then you can use the union feature. So once you click the tool inside of Photoshop on the left hand corner, you can see that this area, this bar actually changes um, and shows multiple options right there. So if I were to drag this down right now, this is set on a single selection right here, meaning that I can only draw one shape. But if I were to select the union that is the selection add to selection tool and drag it now what happens is that I'm able to add uh, multiple selections and create interesting shapes like these so now this one is for addition and this one is for subtraction so I can subtract it out with the help of this layer again and with the help of this layer I can actually go for union. So if I were to drag a circle, you can see that everything out of the circle actually disappears. So I can create shapes like these out of selection tools just like that. And right now over here, if I were to zoom this in really quick, you can see that the edges are quite soft. So if I were to uh, in um, increase the feather amount right here, okay, right now it's in a zero pixel. If I were to do five pixel and press enter, drag it out, you can see that this is actually quite softer. Know that you, uh, please do know that you have to uh, set the feather level before you actually drag the uh, marquee selection tool. So if I were to do 20, press enter, drag it out and press control backspace, then you can see that uh, this is actually softer than before. And now what I can also do is use anti-aliasing. Let me just uh, set that back to zero and let's talk about anti-aliasing now. And over here, right now, what happens ha is happening is that the anti-aliasing is actually on. But if I were to zoom in and turn off anti-aliasing and then drag it, let's press control backspace. You can see that the edges are actually quite soft. Let me just drag the same uh, color. I mean that the edges are actually quite sharp. So you don't have the anti-aliasing, the smoothing out of the uh, images right there. So the uh, images that is produced is actually very very sharp unlike the anti-aliased version of it. So if I were to do this without anti-aliasing you can see that the uh, edges are actually not as soft as the one with anti-aliasing. So usually I want to turn on the anti-aliasing on so that I have soft edges especially while editing pictures. So this is how you use the union feature inside of uh, selection marquee tool and this is also how you control the feather and anti-aliasing tool inside of uh, Adobe Photoshop. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share.